Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for another great video here on Chuck Wagon MTG. Today we're going to be going over our Pack to Power a Cure. We're going to be picking a few winners from uh, the people who commented on last week's videos. And we're also going to be opening up some packs for our uh, Build a Pack box that we do for our Patreon subscribers. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the uh, Pack to Power a Cure. Uh, normally gets its own segment, but we're kind of short on... Uh, video slots this month because of the holiday and uh, us missing a video last week um so for any of you who don't know what pack to power is um, essentially you get a pack of magic gathering cards you open it up and then whatever is inside you trade it you trade it as hard as you possibly can and then you keep trading those cards with the idea that you keep trading up until eventually you trade that single pack of magic gathering cards for one of the power nine now we're doing something a little bit different uh, we're going to be trading for a year and then after a year all of the cards we've acquired we're going to auction them all off and then all of the proceeds are going to go to the juvenile diabetes research foundation um we're roughly halfway to our goal we had hoped to hit a thousand dollars of value uh, by the end of the year uh, so we're getting pretty close um, unfortunately between my sickness um and then just you know chaotic holiday schedules uh, kind of part of having four kids um i haven't been able to really grind the trading as much as i would have liked to have um, between that and then a few big hits we had market wise where prices fell uh we actually dropped just a slight slight bit uh we were 450 ish i believe uh in last month's video we are currently at 441 dollars and 81 cents of value uh, so while we did drop a little bit, uh, I'm not getting discouraged. I still think we can hit our mark. Uh, I'm going to hit the trading a little harder this month and especially next month uh, when everything kind of picks back up a little bit. Um, I still think we can uh, we can definitely do it. And if anyone is interested in making trades to the binder, uh, in the description of this video you can find a link to our deck box uh, that has a list of all the cards we have in there for trade so uh if you want to trade any of that just you know shoot me a message and let me know next thing we're gonna do we're gonna give away some cards uh to the people who commented uh on la any of last week's videos we're gonna jump on over to uh my favorite website wheel decide uh, i've got everybody's name in here of the people who commented uh so what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump over to random.org we're gonna go ahead and roll the dice we got seven, so we're going to click this wheel seven times to get it to spin, and then whoever it lands on, you're going to win a pack of cards. Uh, good luck to everyone that's involved. We got once, twice, thrice, four, five, six, and seven. And the winner of this pack is going to be Joel Sudnahovsky, one of our patrons. Congratulations, sir. Uh, you just won yourself an extra pack of cards. We're going to go ahead and remove Joel's name here. And we're going to update the wheel here. Then we're going to roll the dice again. We're going to do it again. Give away another pack of cards. Uh, this time we got 10. All right. Click this thing 10 times. Good luck to everyone that's involved. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Congratulations to... Oh, I didn't... that was right in the line. Forest Lee. Congratulations, sir. You are the winner of the next pack of cards. So we got Joel Sudnahovsky and we've got Forrest Lee. Congratulations to you both. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing going here. We're going to turn on the camera and then we're going to go ahead and start opening stuff up. So, Joel, this is going to be your pack here. Uh, essentially, you get the, the rare and the shiny out of it, the good stuff. Let's have some, hope for some good luck here. I'm trying to, I don't think there's actually much that's been pulled out of this box. So, um, all right, we got a lava coil. That's not too shabby. Uh, monument, street riot. Now, this isn't worth anything, but I really like this card. Giving your creatures plus one and trample. It's got EDH written all over it. And our rare is mission briefing. Not too shabby, not too shabby. All right. Well, congratulations, Joel, on the cards right there. 
we'll go ahead and uh, I'm going to hold off on shipping that because uh, you're a patron and I'm going to be shipping out your patron stuff here in a little bit. Uh, now this next one is for Forrest Lee. I believe Forrest has, has won one of these from us before. I could be mistaken though. So we're going to go ahead and cut to the chaff, through the chaff here. We've got a Chemistry's Insight. That's not too bad. Uh, Ledev Champion, new Gird for Battle, new. And our rare is Find and Finality. That's not bad. Oh, and we got a foil. It is a... Wasn't that the beginning of the pack? No. Okay. I thought it was the beginning of the pack. All right. Uh, we got a Ledev Guardian. All right. Well, congratulations, Forrest, on that. Uh, not too shabby of cards. Um, while this isn't, like, super expensive right now, it's it's a card that's being played. Um, not too bad. And then the Chemistry's Insight, that's not too shabby either. So um, just remember, any of the contests we do here, you got to get a hold of us. you got 30 days. That's the longest we're willing to keep stuff on my desk for. Um, 30 days, contact me, get me your mailing information, and we'll go ahead and get it out to you. Now, on to uh, our Patreon Build-A-Pack box. Uh, we got a, I got a little stack of stuff, just random packs I pulled out of the desk. Um, we're going to open this stuff up, and anything good is going to go into that Patreon Build-A-Pack box. If you're interested in joining Patreon or just knowing how it works, uh, follow the link down below. we got lots of links down there. Um, focus, there we go. Um, like I said, some of these commons and uncommons are going to make it into the, uh, commons and uncommons slot. Uh, no, no. All right, our rare is, hey, we got a Temple Garden. All right, that's not too shabby. We got Temple Garden going into the Build-A-Pack box. Nice start, nice start. I say, we've had some patrons every month... I mean, patrons generally hit the mark. It's uh, If they're at the $10 level, they, they usually get $10 worth of cards at least. Um, but we've had a couple. It seems like every month we have one patron that just knocks it out of the park, like doubles or triples or quadruples their money. All right, we got the Marshall. Ooh, we got a Crackling Drake. That's not too shabby. Lotlith Giant and... Overgrown Tomb. Look at that. Man, not doing too shabby here. All right. That, uh, it's starting to look a lot better. That, uh, the box already. All right, all right, all right. Get through that stuff here. Uh, focus. Come on. You can do it. I know you can. I have faith. Okay, I'm losing faith. What is going on here? Okay, there we go. Uh, field, no. Guild mage, no. Conclave Guild Mage, no, and Narco Amoeba. Okay, now we're kind of back on par for what the packs usually do. Actually, I can't say that. We've had some pretty darn good luck when it comes to opening packs for the uh, Build-A-Pack box. We had the Nick of Bolas in there. We've had a lot of the uh, the rare lands go in there. Um, we've had a lot of good stuff. Beam Splitter Mage. Love this guy. Love it. Uh, Crawl Harpooner, that guy's being played some too. Uh, Sunholm Stalwart, and we got Experimental Frenzy. Man, not too bad at all. All right, well, those are the Guilds of Ravnica packs. Let's see what we got in Battle Bond. Um, this was actually a pack I found underneath my desk. I didn't even know I had it. Um, that, I really need to clean around here more. I mean, that, that's what it boils down to. So, let's see what we got here now we'll go ahead and just kind of roll through this we got uh battle rampart the machine uh charging rhinos that's always fun negate that's fun bull rush bruiser okay uh eager construct fan favorite that's not a bad card i like that guy uh midnight guard uh, we got a Light Walker. We got Hand of Silungar. All right, we got a Jalene, Jalen. I don't know, it's a Sphinx. I always forget how to pronounce it, but he's not bad. Then we got Out of Bounds. That's, that's not too shabby either. And then we've got Long Road Home. Our rare is Regna's Sanction. 
Don't know that card. Uh, each player choose friend or foe. Oh, it's one of those cards. Gotcha. Nice. All right. And then our foil is... That's not a foil. Okay, that's a basic land. All right, then. <laughs> uh, next, we got a pack of M13. Uh, I'm starting to dwindle down to the bottom of this box here. I should grab another one. I like having older, just random sets on hand. Just to be able to open because they're fun. Um, let's see. Anything good in here? Not really. I think we got Cultivate. That's worth a little bit. Um, there's some other stuff. We got Torch Fiend. War Priest of Thune. I like that guy. Uh, Revive. I mean, that's not too shabby. And then we got ourselves Reverberate. Uh, well, maybe that'll go into the Commons slot. It's not a bad card. I like it. It's just between reprinting and then not a lot of decks playing it, it's just it's not worth anything. It is fun, though. It's a fun card. All right, last pack. A little more... Um, isn't that how the last pack started? I don't know. Mind Sculpt. That's fun. Kraken Hatchling. All right. Essence Drain. That's actually not a bad pack. That's actually a really good card. I like it. All right, what do we got here? We got Knight of Infamy, uh, Augur of Bolus, Rise from the Grave, and a clone. Okay, well, it seems that uh, our big hits were on the uh, the Guilds of Ravnica packs um, with our... Uh, not so much that, but uh, we got the two lands. That's pretty nice. And uh, Experimental Frenzy, I don't know if it's still up there, but um, even if it's not, this is a ridiculously good card. I love this card. So, yeah, this is all going into the Patreon. Build the pack box. Uh, all patrons, $10 and up, have a chance of, uh, of winning uh, or pulling one of these cards. Uh, like I said, just check out one of our Patreon videos, um, and you can see pretty much how it works. Uh, and then, like I said, if you want to sign up, sign up. Down below there is a link that shows you how to get there. Uh, we feel that uh, we, the prices we have on all of our tiers, uh, they're very fair, for especially for what you get. Uh, uh, how did I hear? Someone mentioned it at the local game store, someone I met up there. They said it was the most balanced that they had seen. So we got that going for us. Anyways, I want to thank everyone for watching. Uh, if you like what you saw here today, do us a huge favor. Click that like button, hit subscribe, be sure to hit the bell notifications so you can tell when we have new stuff coming out, and then share this with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and your pets. Everyone could use a little more magic in their lives. Once again, thank you very much for watching, and as always, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter, Chuckwagon. MTG. Now, if you do us one last favor and check out this brief message from the best gaming store in Michigan. Chuckwagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games, now at one mega location to fill all of your gaming and comic needs. They have Magic the Gathering events every night of the week, as well as Warhammer, Pathfinder, Dungeons and Dragons Adventures League, Final Fantasy TCG, Pokemon, and Star Wars X-Wing events all throughout the week. They also have close to 100,000 comics on site. This is why I have personally made BC Comics and Games my home gaming store.